can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so the UFC is back at the O2 Arena here in London, England. The adult beverages are flowing. And we're going to feed off this crowd tonight, as usual, here in the UK, DC. You know, a lot of times you sit next to the octagon, and because we wear these headphones, you can barely hear. But when we come to London, headphone or not, you are going to know that these people are loud, they're raucous, and they're ready to put on a show. They're ready to also cheer hard for the English fighter. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, huge left. Hands high, hands high. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Body kick is blocked. Dig deep, dig deep. Knee to the body. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong, they are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. And now that jab starting to get established. Just touching him with the jab. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Looked like that body kick got home. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, nice body kick. Hands higher. Hands higher. Landed that one. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. But look at the footwork. Look at the fading of the shoulder. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away, but when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down the last punch to end this fight. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Get those oh, jabs in bunches here. Splits the guard there and continuing. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, big left hook there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Back in the clinch. Look for a takedown. He's very good at changing levels when he can get to this clinch position and get in close. 
Less than a minute to go in the round. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Lee's kick is blocked. He's got the single collar tie. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, huge Superman punch. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in oh. the head and he's still standing. Yes, the single collar tie now. Right. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath, boy. Yeah, relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, man. I want you to set those kicks up. Man. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh! Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. And the strike lands clean. Look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. I want to see that double jab now. Beautiful left hand. Come on, let's get it. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Throws that deep. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice crack there. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice jab by Lee. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Great commitment to the kicking game. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. 
getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Lee's in half goal. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, misses with the jab. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Final seconds. Back kick there. Two rounds in the books. Body kick right there, landed perfect. You ready? You ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and get the fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Out of range with that one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Useful hook there. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. And follows up with another one. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Sit down, hands up. Oh, nice hook. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Hands high, hands high. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now but if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice high kick. Nice kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 
We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Just missed with the left there. Oh, the head kick lands. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just misses with that one. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. It's okay. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Immediately gets the underhook. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Let's go, that Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Huge knee lands to the point. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight, but we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, All right, that's God. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far Ready, too many. Fight. Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Punch over the top. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's office. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Beautiful kick to the bottom. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. There's the kick. It's blocked. Counter punch attempt here, no good. Good punch, Lance. Oh, inside kick. 
right hook to the head block. All right, well, that blow is busseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Really good emphasis on that kick there. Those leg kicks, man, that's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down when he breaks them down. Lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Lee. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss, Jay. And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's gonna find himself in a dire situation. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Back to his feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Heavy kick downstairs. That shot blocked by Lee. Under a minute to go. Oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful kick lands there. Final seconds of round four. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, and there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment, but it is a testament to this fighter in the toughness and the durability that he possesses, that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Effective with the jab. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, nice. Well, he has been nothing if not masterful on the feet this evening, and a lot of his effectiveness has been because of that jab. He established it early, and that helped to set up some of his combinations, but you look at the numbers, bottom of your screen, the jab has really been the primary storyline in this one. Touched him with the strike there. 
Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Push kick there to the body. Hit that body, hit that body. There's that side kick. Looking to set up that head kick. He's got that single collar tie. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Nice body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. He's got to find a way to finish his fight. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Fighter connects there. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Great punch from the clinch here. Another punch to the head. Go after that cut. Go after that cut. Strikes. Targeting the body with the kick now. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Block that shot there. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called on you. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. Big double leg, double change. A big elbow there. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the fight. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He's got to be careful here. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice. Heavy kick late from the champ. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. With a winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks 